hungry as I stand before you today as an education worker and a uh, NIPSA rep in education. Day and daily, I hear the horror stories, and it is horror stories, of what our members are having to struggle by with. Their wages aren't providing a decent um, living that they can feed their families on, and they are turning, and it's an absolute disgrace that they have to turn to um, food banks in order to make ends meet. I myself, as a, a single parent, and my children were teenagers, were, was better off than I am now in a house on my own, living um, on a month-to-month -month basis with my wages. There's no extra, there's no putting away for a rainy day, there's no contingency plan. I am living from month to month and I, I know that the crowd in front of me, there's many people in the same situation. <laughs> Comrades, it's important that we all stand together, that every person in Northern Ireland, whether you're in a union, whether you're in the private sector, the public sector, whether you're a housewife, a retired elderly person, whoever, we need to stand together to fight for Northern Ireland, to make sure that it is a country that we can be proud of, where our poorest are helped, where our elderly are looked after, where our sick are cared for, and where we have a basic level of um, Sorry. A basic level where people can live without fearing what next month is going to bring. We need to raise the standards. We need to have a wage that negates the need for benefits, that negates the need for food banks. We need to build for a better society in Northern Ireland. Those in unions, we must make our leadership realise that a 1% increase that is below inflation is a pay cut. We must insist that there are no sellouts of our terms and conditions and of our pay. We must insist that there's no cozying up to the politicians on the hill. We need to fight for Northern Ireland and everything that that means. We need to we need to fight for a living pay for all. We need to fight for welfare that supports the people who need it. We need to fight for a health service that supports and provides for those who are ill. And we need to fight for an education for our young. Comrades, we need to stand together and encourage that every person in Northern Ireland has this responsibility. It's not down to the unions, it's not down to the private sector, it's not down to the community groups. It's not down to the churches providing food banks. It's the responsibility of every single member of this society. And we need to make it a society that we are proud of. Com or, com <laughs> Please support everything that um, all of our speakers are saying today and go out and get that message into our own communities that we all need to stand together. for one second to wish Jim Barber of the FBU, FBU Union um, a long and happy retirement and thank him once again and his union for all the help and support that he's given classroom assistance over the years. Thank you.